All right, we're gonna play a game called paying attention. All right? Paying attention. Everybody stand up. Everybody raise your right hand. Everybody sit down. Put both hands on the table. Put your hands up. Put your hands out. Put your hands back on the table. Stand back up. Sit back down. Stand back up. Sit back down. Put your hands all the way up. Put your hands on the table. Stand back up one more time. Sit back down. That's paying attention. Go on a job, it may be just something similar to that. Standing up, putting your hands up, taking a box, throwing it in the trash can. You may have to do that for eight hours. You may have to do this for eight hours. All day. For eight hours. And that's paying attention. If you got an assembly line, and you got five or six people, it's a reason why they got five people on this line. That means that if one is gone, if you gone, the whole line is messed up. We have to be able to pay attention. Each and every day in life, we have to pay attention. When you wake up in the morning, what's the first thing you do? Brush your teeth. What you do before that, though? Think about it when you wake up in the morning. What's the first thing you do? You open your eyes. You open your eyes and then what you do after that? Check the time. You check the time. Most people check the time, right? And most people just sit there and they try to plan their day or what they're going to do next. You see what I'm saying? Some people pray at the beginning. Everybody got their own way of waking up in the morning. But if you don't have that way of waking up in the morning, and you got to be to work at 8 o'clock, if you're not looking at the clock, guess what you're going to do? You're going to be late. Brother said earlier, if you got to be to work at 8 o'clock, they don't want you or what? They don't want you late. They don't mean, ah, I had to do, I'm only a minute late. No! They don't want to hear that. So when we put you on a job, if you have to be to work at 8, be to work at 8. Another thing we see people have tra- I mean, uh, problems with is transportation. It's funny how we can get to the club, we can get to June Bulls party. We can get anywhere we want to get on the weekend, but we can't even get to the job on a weekday. And that's very important. How are your transportation in France? Hey, somebody if you got to if you don't have no transport until you get your own. Set some short-term and some long-term goals. I mean, I have a car now, but I guarantee you I have one in a couple of months. But you check to the side. Because if you ain't working, they ain't bringing no money in. That means that once you start working, there's no problem with you not spending a whole bunch of money. You start putting your bread to the side. Start making some short-term goals and some long-term goals. And it's nothing like having your own vehicle. It's nothing like having your own place. Because one day, y'all going to be older, and some of y'all going to be raising kids on your own. And you want to instill these virtues of being able to be accountable, being able to be responsible. This stuff is so important, y'all. So take for granted everything that you get. This is free. The goddess is free. Putting you on a job, getting you some soft skills, getting you some practical skills, and most importantly, as I always say, getting you some common sense. Because if you don't use common sense, you ain't got nothing. Paying attention. That should be number one who knows in your life.
And normally on the cell phones, all of us have like the same piece if you got an eye or a drawer. It's sort of kind of like the same a minute off from each other. But two or three minutes, that's late. Another thing, we're gonna have some real extensive classes. And y'all gonna be getting paid while you're doing it. Some of y'all got phones. Can't be on your phone while you're learning. If it's important, Mr. Ruffin, or Mr. Dewar, Mr. Lyles, or Mr. Harrell, I gotta step outside. I gotta use the phone, it's important. We got, we're not gonna deprive you from using your phone. But you're not gonna be in class on the phone all day long, playing with your phone. So we just ask when you come in with your phone, put your phone right in the front. You gotta use it, then use it. Nobody's stopping you from using your phone. But we're trying to get y'all to get these skills because this stuff is important and we need for you to pay attention. How many of y'all know the desired job that you want to do? I know what I heard, what y'all want to do as far as your career pathway. But how many of y'all thought about a certain job that you really take interest in? I mean, I would love to be a professional race car driver. That's, yeah, that's, a, that's a job. That's, that, that falls in the engineering bracket, believe it or not. It takes math to drive, man. Yeah, you know that? I mean, I kind of just go by instinct when yeah, I Yeah, but it still takes math. You gotta know how fast you're going, the width you're going, the speed, I mean, everything, all of that. So what we're gonna try to do just is we have people in place to sort of kind of, if you don't know what you wanna do, ain't nothing wrong with that. I'd rather be in a place that I don't know what I wanna do. To find what I wanna do. And once you find it, it's beauty in that. All right. We're going to go to lunch at what, 12? Yeah, we, we're going to do lunch. Um, be back here by 1 o'clock, or you can just hang around here. Yeah. So, um, so it's, that we didn't yeah, let y'all, yeah. yeah, being that we didn't let y'all go on a break at 11 o'clock, we try to let y'all do a 10 minute break every hour, but we ain't do a break at um, 11 o'clock, so. We're going to give you 